There are many factors that influence how we interpret music as we search for the ideal musical line or phrase. Just like in any other language, a series of words can be interpreted and spoken very differently, even if the words are exactly the same. Tempo, dynamics, rhythm and articulation are common examples of tools we have as musicians in our arsenal to shape and express the music we play. In this video, Vincent will play a few contrasting excerpts to show and explain these various concepts. In particular, how we can use articulation in repeated notes and also to bring out dotted rhythms in our phrasing. The euphonium solo from the first movement of Gustav Holst's second suite in F, based on the British folk song Swansea Town, can be regarded as the most famous euphonium solo in the wind band repertory. In this excerpt, it is important to observe an 8 bars phrasing and try to avoid breathing every 4 bars. Although the music does present pockets of space to do so, apart from breathing, one should not allow the sound to dip in the middle of the phrase. Let me show you what to avoid. The solo is based on a folk song, therefore it is safe to say that we should have a lyrical approach when performing the music. However, as there are a few repeated notes in some of the phrases, do not be afraid to articulate when approaching these notes, just like how a singer would clearly articulate all the syllable in a song. I would like to draw your attention to the middle of the third phrase where there are three consecutive Fs that are marked tenuto and we should approach them with putting more weight on the notes rather than keeping a legato style. Let me show you what to avoid. It is important to pay attention to the rhythm of the solo particularly placing more emphasis on the quavers or eight notes to bring out the C chanty style. Do not let the rhythm be lazy or alter the rhythm to become two crotchets or quarter notes. Let me show you what to avoid. Percy Granger is yet another composer to have contributed significantly during the wind band movement. One of the most famous pieces that he has contributed is his Irish tune from County Derry, which shares the same melody as London Derry Air and Danny Boy. Irish tune, like most of Granger's music, offers a great amount of room for conductor's interpretation. The tempo can vary from the mid 60 beat per minute up to 90 beats per minute. In this demonstration, I will be taking a tempo which is leaning towards the slower end of the spectrum and I am deliberately removing any use of vibrato on the melody so that it is able to sit easily on top of the beautiful and genius harmonic treatment and inner voice writing by Granger. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ranger is known to be very prescriptive with his dynamic instructions, and Irish Tune is no exception. Follow his instruction, especially the swell he wrote in bar 14. This might be slightly uncomfortable when you are playing on your own, but it will make sense when you are playing in a full band situation. If the selected tempo by the conductor is on the slower end, it is important to take care of the quality of sound and tuning towards the end of phrases, making sure that all the notes are in center. In a full band situation, you can work out the plan to stagger your breathing with your section mates to maintain the best quality sound throughout the phrase. Mm -hmm. 